Welcome to this week in the Idea Garden. The Idea Garden is managed, run, and sponsored and, man and taken care of by the Kane County Master Gardeners. Uh, they've done an excellent job this year of maintaining the plants and the productivity here in the garden. One of those examples that I wanted to share this week is Swiss chard. Swiss chard is a season-long crop. It can be sown early in the spring and it will grow and last well into light to heavy frost and even maybe a heavy freeze. It's a vegetable that needs to be harvested regularly by removing the outer leaves as you can see here in some of the uh, chard plants that are in the foreground. Uh, it used to be the Swiss chard was just this plain old green thing. And today's varieties and cultivars include as you can see here yellow, red, uh, there's orange, uh, many different colors in Swiss chard now and that makes it very interesting for table use. It's a bright uh, element in any dish where it would be used. So the best way to maintain this is to go ahead and harvest the older leaves first as they come on. If, this, if these plants weren't harvested, those leaves would be up this tall. So this has been a well-used row of, of uh, Swiss chard this season. So this is a great example of a well-managed Swiss chard plant. You can easily see that the older leaves have been harvested and used while we're allowing the younger leaves which are going to grow from the inside of the plant out. There's four or five here that are just coming on. In just a few more days these could be ready for harvest as well and used in the kitchen and presented to the family for consumption. So that's the story this week on using and managing Swiss chard in your garden. I appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you again the next time right here in the Kane County Master Gardener Idea Garden.